Hello YouTube, my name is Elliot Hamilton, and I'm going to delightfully talk to you about one of my favorite elements on the periodic table. Let's get started. Well, what is phosphorus? Well, phosphorus is a nonmetal with an electron configuration of helium plus 3s2 and 3p3, putting it within the same group as nitrogen. It has oxidation states ranging from negative 3 to plus 5. It also has a low electronegativity, but what it also has is three different allotropes. These allotropes are white, red, and black. Phosphorus was discovered by the German alchemist Henning Brand, who was distilling urine in hopes of finding gold. Alas, he did not find his gold, but he discovered what we would refer to as white phosphorus. White phosphorus is the elemental form of phosphorus, which is a white, waxy, flammable solid. What makes white phosphorus interesting is that its molecule P4 has a tetrahedral molecular geometry, but it has a small bond angle of about like 60 degrees. Because of this unstable geometry, it gives white phosphorus its unstable and reactive nature. It is highly toxic to humans, causing horrific burns to skin and flesh, and has been used in warfare as an obscuring. Such acts have been made in Fallujah during the Iraq War. Here is an image of white phosphorus being used for militaristic purposes. Now, if we heat white phosphorus to about 300 degrees Celsius, we find ourselves with our second allotrope, red phosphorus. It consists of a chain of white phosphorus molecules with its tetrahedral structure broken, causing it to be amorphous. Though not as reactive or as toxic as white phosphorus, it is still flammable. It can be stored in the air and its most common usage today is in match heads. Finally, we have our final allotrope, black phosphorus. This allotrope is unlike the other two because it is more thermodynamically stable, and it is also layered like graphite. It can be acquired by heating white phosphorus under pressure. I wish I could tell you more about phosphorus, but I must depart. I hope you enjoyed my lesson. Next time we'll talk about phosphine. It will be to die for. So long!